Hello friends, in this series of videos in theory of computation, uh, in the last video we have just discussed uh, what are the basic operations which can be performed on the strings. Now to go one more step further, in this video let me discuss the basic concept of key enclosure and positive closure. Okay friends, now instead of directly discussing what is key enclosure, first let me discuss some background points. You understand, till now in this subject we have understood that what is a language or a formal language is nothing but a set of strings. And when I say that language is a set of strings, I automatically means that all the operations which are applicable on sets now can also be applied on languages. For example, you can find complement of a language, you can do intersection of two languages, union of two languages and any other operation. But you know to go into further depth we must know then what is universal set and what is the empty set because you see in any set theory you know there are two fundamental sets we have one is capital U which is certainly the universal set and one is the empty set phi. Now what is capital U in Venn diagram it is denoted by a rectangle all of you are familiar enough. Uh, it is a set of all the possible elements which are under study or we can say every element belongs to this set or every set is a subset of universal set. It is the largest set possible in any set in, in any discussion. Uh, uh, what is phi? It is a null set or empty set which do not contains anything. Now when I say a language is a set of strings certainly there has to exist or there should be a universal set or there has to be empty set as far as this empty set is concerned there is no discussion as we already discussed a language could be phi phi means what it don't contain anything so it is possible that a language is empty or a phi but is it possible that a language contain every possible string answer is certainly yes and this key enclosure which is generally denoted by what sigma star in this set theory of you know strings behaves as a universal language and every language is actually a subset of what sigma star now to understand this logic mathematically let me tell you first this thing uh, for example uh, like in mathematics if I say what is 2 raised to power 3 then you can tell me certainly answer is 8 and why you are saying so you are saying that 2 multiplied by 2 by multiplied by 2 is simply means what 8 but in this subject as right now we are working on strings anything raised to or something is simply means that symbol concatenated with itself that much number of time for example now here if I say 2 raised to power 3 uh, what does it mean it is 2 concatenation 2 concatenation 2 which will give 2 2 and what 2 so if I ask you what is like a raised to power 2 it is nothing but a concatenation a so it is simply a string double a now again one more point anything raised to power 0 in mathematics gives you what 1 but now in this uh, you know in set theory or here in this domain of strings anything raised to power 0 will be null or epsilon that is a string of length 0 so if you apply any number for example a raised to power n it simply means what a repeated n number of times and anything raised to power 0 is a string of length 0 okay now after under understanding this logic let me go one step further and let me say okay let me say sigma is what a b okay now it means what sigma is a input alphabet which contain two symbols a b now first you understand what is this thing sigma raised to power 0 sigma raised to power 1 2 let me say up till up till let me say k now what is sigma raised to power 0 as i already told you anything raised to power 0 for example a symbol it simply means a string of that length for example a raised to power k is a repeated how much times k number of times now sigma raised to power 0 means what any strings which can be generated from the symbols which are defined in the sigma in certainly in this case which is fine uh, which is to be you know a and b uh, but the length should be exactly what zero so is system may how many strings i can generate length zero there's only one string possible which is nothing but what null now if i ask you now using the symbol a and b sigma raised to power one means what it is a set of all the strings of length one which can be generated from these symbols that is a and b so length one you understand only two strings are possible only a and only b 
okay now what is sigma raised to power 2 again all the strings using the symbol again n b but len should be exactly what 2 then what should i write it is either a a or a b or b a and what b b ah, so that is a simple logic so if i go further in this way and if i ask you now what is sigma raised to power k now you tell me what should it be all the strings w will belong such that this length of w should be exactly equal to what k we already understood what is this mod w it is nothing but a length of a string so sigma k will contain all the strings w but the condition is length of w must be what exactly k and that is obvious that a symbol belongs to this set sigma now if i take this logic up to infinity now you understand that will be a theoretical logic but understand what is sigma infinity all the string w will be there but length of those strings will be what infinity means what even the length of a string could be anything now you tell me sigma raised to power 0 contain length 0 sigma raised to power contain length 1 sigma raised to power 2 contain length 2 the question is if we take union of all these sets then how many strings will be there or can you tell me some string which will not be there so if you take union of all the sets length 0 will be there length 1 will be there length 2 length 3 every string will be there so any string of any length which could be generated from this symbols a and b will certainly belong to the union of these sets and union of these sets is nothing but what sigma star that is the basic conceptual mathematical definition so sigma star will contain any strings which can be designed using these symbols which are defined in sigma for example in this case it is a and b up to any length and it is certainly you know in most of the time if you have at least one symbol then the you know it will be an infinite set so that will be the mathematical definition of sigma star means what okay let me write it so now what is sigma star sigma star certainly you know will contain all the strings w uh, such that length of w should be exactly to what k and let me take union uh, from what from k is equals to zero to what infinity now if you take the union of these sets now that is what sigma star so every string will belong such that length must be k and the length goes from what zero to infinity i have taken all the union so that is key in close of sigma star so again let me conclude the argument what is sigma star why we study it we study sigma star because it is the universal set so even if somebody asks you what is a complement of a language you can say certainly that a complement of a language is nothing but sigma star minus language because sigma star here work as what as a universal set which contains every string and what is the complement of your set just language uh, that sigma star minus your language will be the complement so sigma star is a universal set which is conceptually very important now how we describe sigma star sigma star or key enclosure contain all possible strings which can be designed use or which can be designed using the symbols of a and b up to any length certainly from zero to what infinity now one more point sometime you may encounter sigma plus now what is sigma plus now the definition of sigma star or sigma plus is approximately same just there's a single change what len should be okay that is equal to k that is understood but this time instead of starting zero we'll start from one means what it says or sigma positive closer says that we must have strings of at least length one and more up till infinity or you can also say we don't have what null string or a string of length zero so sigma positive closer contain all the strings from length one to infinity and sigma keen closer contains all the strings from length zero uh, to length infinity i hope you understand the logic uh, of keen closer which is nothing but a universal set okay thank you